a U.S. expat in Singapore asks, I have developed a theory about how the U.S. will get rid of the national debt. Borrowing is the equivalent of printing, except that there is an interest rate to pay later. If the U.S. could el- uh, if the U.S. could eliminate the interest rate, then it could roll over debt forever, and borrowing would just be a disguise for printing money or currency inflation. Could QE and endless increases in national debt? Could QE and it? Could QE and endless increases in national debt just be a vehicle for the Fed to acquire the national debt at virtually interest-free terms? Hence, the Fed owns 25% of the debt now, but could own 75% later and make it such a bad investment the holders of the other 25% will bail. Then the U.S. government just rolls over the debt as a permanent increase in the money supply. What are your thoughts on that? Well, what you're talking about doesn't solve any problems. You're just talking about, you know, letting the government print money, which the government could do if the Federal Reserve wasn't in the way, right? If the Constitution wasn't there, or theoretically, the government doesn't care about the Constitution, Congress would just print money and spend it, uh, and that would cover the budget deficit. Instead, uh, they can't do that. What happens is they have to sell bonds to the Federal Reserve, Uh, The Federal Reserve buys the bonds and then creates the money for the government to spend. But now the government has to pay interest. But of course, if the Federal Reserve owns the bonds, the government is paying interest to itself, which is like not paying interest at all, because most of the interest that the Federal Reserve collects, it turns right around and gives right back to the government. So it's not like it's a panacea or a get out of jail free card if the Fed decided not to charge the government any interest, because it's basically not charging them any interest right now. And in fact, All of the interest payments that the Federal Reserve does receive from the U.S. Treasury, it takes all that money and loans it right back to the Treasury and buys even more bonds. So in effect, the U.S. government is paying 0% interest right now to the Federal Reserve. And I think it's going to continue to pay 0% interest until the dollar collapses, because that is the reality. The Fed's going to keep buying more and more and more of our bonds. And so more and more of the debt is going to be interest free for the government. But it doesn't mean it's consequence free for the people because it's inflation. And, you know, as the government, I've heard people say, well, the Fed could just forgive the debt and then it won't be a problem. Well, if they forgive the debt, the Federal Reserve notes that were created are still outstanding. So the Fed forgives their asset, which is the government bond, but their liabilities are still there. So they have a huge hit to their balance sheet. Meanwhile, there is no way to withdraw all that liquidity. Right now, everybody believes, falsely in my opinion, that the Fed is going to shrink its balance sheet and sell treasuries and buy back the money it's created. Well, if it forgives the debt on those treasuries, it's got nothing to sell. Because if the government, if once you've forgiven the debt, the treasuries are worthless. So how are you going to take your notes out of circulation if you have nothing to sell to buy them? You can't. So it would be an acknowledgement of an official and permanent debt monetization, which would collapse the dollar and it would show for everybody uh, the fraud that is the Federal Reserve. Now, smart people have figured that out already. The whole thing is a fraud, but most people don't know that yet. But if you rang that loud a bell, if the Fed just basically tore up its IOUs from the U.S. Treasury, then it would be obvious to even the village idiot what's going on and the dollar would collapse and the game would be over.